This is a bacon among gems. I was here back in May, April, and I saw it. It was in a full bloom, good bloom. And uh, so looking at the fruit set of the gems near this bacon, it's it's pretty good. There's There's fruit in all of the gem trees that are uh, facing this bacon, so to speak. Fruit, fruit, fruit. More fruit. And there's good fruit set on the gem trees right up here. Uh, kind of uh, interlacing with the bacon too. So that bacon as a pollinizer seems to have worked really well. Then these gems are about as far from that bacon and uh, any other varieties as we can get. <clears throat> and the bacon we were at is on the other side of this hill. And so um, looking at the fruit set of these gems, uh, there's some fruit on here for sure. It's not quite as heavy as next to the the gems right by the bacon. There is fruit, but it's um, not as much. So it's uh, so it seems to have seems to have made a difference that bacon, but there is still fruit set on these ones that are pretty far okay so here's the bacon again in the middle and then there's a gem there and there's a gem here and it's pretty pretty obvious if you look this this single gem limb has so much fruit on it that it's uh really weighted down and so it doesn't just have fruit it has it has a ton of fruit and then this gem here it doesn't just have some fruit but it's um it's truly loaded like gems can be I and mean, it's like dripping with fruit so yeah even though those those trees that are kind of far, farther, far from any pollinizers and farther, while they do have some fruit, they are not dripping with fruit. Like these trees that are uh, truly adjacent to this big bacon. Yeah, the, it, it pretty clearly makes a big difference.